When Liverpool were crowned as the champions of England in 2019-20, they only conceded 33 goals from 38.92 expected goals against. However, they struggled to repeat this defensive success because of their recurring centre-back injuries last season and recorded an expected goals against tally of 47.06 whilst conceding 42 goals. Therefore, Liverpool are moving to have more depth in this part of the pitch and have recruited the 22-year-old Frenchman Ibrahima Konate for 40 million euros from RB Leipzig. This tactical analysis piece is a scout report which will show Konate's strengths and weaknesses and how his style of play can work within Jurgen Klopp's tactics. Welcome back to the Total Football Analysis YouTube channel. If you are enjoying this type of content, make sure you are subscribed, make sure you like this video and you can also share it as well. My name is RDF but without the further hold up, let's get started. This table is a comparison of statistics amongst the centre-backs at RB Leipzig last season. The France under-21 international suffered from a couple of injuries last season which restricted him to only 1,377 minutes of action in all competitions. Konate had fewer successful defensive actions per 90 than all others, 6.93. Although the stats might suggest that Konate was not a good defender, this can be attributed to the setup of the team. Nagelsmann wanted Konate to cover his partner instead of leaving his position Position to engage with opponents frequently so his defensive data is not very impressive. We will now look at in-game examples to demonstrate his strengths and weaknesses. Konate had 1.83 progressive runs per 90 and 9.74 progressive passes per 90 last season which was second and fourth highest for RB Leipzig. These stats show that he has a tendency to carry the ball forward frequently and he has the explosive pace to burst forward and break defensive lines by running with the ball. This image shows RB Leipzig constructing an attack against Paris Saint-Germain in the Champions League. With their opponents blocking off the half spaces, especially in the highlighted blue zone, there was no obvious vertical passing option for Konate here. Angel Di Maria is also pressing the 22-year-old which shuts down the passing lane to the right back. Losing the ball in this situation would lead to a dangerous PSG counter-attack. Konate turned the crisis into an opportunity here with his courage to bring the ball forward. He used the vacancy in the half space as room to dribble and knock the ball past Angel Di Maria as we can see in the second image. Konate's ability to absorb pressure will be pivotal for Liverpool to create more space for the likes of Trent Alexander-Arnold and Andrew Robertson on the flanks. Despite being strong at moving the ball forward, Konate's decision making in terms of his passing must improve if he is to be successful at Liverpool. This image shows the positioning of players after he dribbled past Paradas as well with RB Leipzig now in the final third. Konate did not opt for an easy pass to release the wide players on the right, instead he also neglected the runners getting into the penalty box and attempted to switch the ball to the opposite flank. This was unnecessary, with several teammates providing easier runs and passing options and this pass was intercepted, leading to a breakdown of a promising situation for Leipzig. Konate also needs to improve his attention to detail in the game. When he carries the ball forward, his subsequent decision making is incorrect, which can lead to counter-attacking opportunities for the opponents. The biggest issue is his passing, or more specifically, how he sometimes opts for the predictable short passes which are intercepted by the opponents. Thus, Konate has an issue with both being too adventurous as well as being too predictable at times in terms of his passing decisions. This is a tendency which will have to be swiftly ironed out at Kirby. In this example against Manchester United, Scott McTominay already moved to the right before Konate's pass, anticipating his pass, but the centre-back still played the ball to the feet of the Scottish international, which led to RB Leipzig having to defend a counter-attack. Another example of this weakness can be seen here. Konate had the ball in the final third and noticed the passing option on the right. David Alaba also saw this and moved two steps to the right which opened up the vertical passing lane in the half space for a runner who was getting behind the left back. However, Konate did not realise this and played the pass that Alaba had anticipated and thus was able to cut it out. Konate is quite impressive in his defending as he is good at defending spaces, an ability only possessed by the top centre backs in the world and there are not too many who can do this at the age of 22 which shows his potential. Bayern Munich have reached the final third in this example with Douglas Costa releasing the overlapping Benjamin Pavard on the right. 
At this moment, Konate is in the penalty box but his partner, Upa Meccano, is out of position. There are two potential problems here. Kingsley Coleman was at the penalty spot already, while Robert Lewandowski was lurking at the edge of the box, but RB Leipzig only had Kevin Campbell in that area to cover. In order to attack the cross, Coleman dashed to the front post, but Pavard pulled the ball back towards Lewandowski, who just entered the penalty area. Now, one could have expected Konata to get attracted towards Coleman and therefore vacate the central space, leaving a lot of room for Lewandowski to shoot. However, the 22-year-old followed the ball rather than the man here, anticipating the cutback and therefore being in the position to clear the ball before it reached the Polish striker. Konate reads the game well, which makes him a good player to cover spaces for his teammates. At RB Leipzig, he has the experience of playing in a back three as well as a back four, including as a wide centre-back or as the central centre-back, and we can see how this has shaped his defensive instincts as well. Bayern had a player overlapping as well, which could have created big problems if Konate did not read this play. The Frenchman had stepped out to press the receiver on time and was able to stop the attack, and this shows his ability to realise when dangerous situations are developing. Another strength of the 22-year-old is his physical attributes. He's quick with an explosive pace to cover large distances quickly, while also being quite strong and able to defend against more physical opponents as well when needed. This combination is a big reason why he's so good at defending large spaces. This also makes him perfect for playing in a high defensive line. RB Leipzig have consistently played with a high line, which should make it easy for him to adapt to Liverpool's style of play. On this occasion, PSG had the chance to initiate a counter-attack with Neymar having the ball centrally. Konate was the last man with Upa Meccano higher up and slightly out of position. Kylian Mbappe read those spaces behind the defence and tried to exploit them with his quick pace. Fortunately, Konate maintained a good body shape to check the run while keeping an eye on the ball, which meant that he was able to have both the player and the ball in his vision while also being in position to accelerate. When Neymar played the long ball to find Mbappe, Konate cleared the danger as he managed to keep pace with the French striker as well as getting into a position to block exactly this kind of pass. The biggest challenge for Konate will be consistency. Can he keep playing at a high level for a team with Liverpool's ambitions every few days? He does have a tendency to make risky challenges when caught out which can cause problems for his side. So for the final remarks, despite just being 22 years old, Konate already has a lot of top level experience in the Bundesliga as well as the Champions League for Leipzig. He has shown a lot of quality and there is still quite some room to improve which just goes to show his potential. Konate does have a tendency to suffer injuries which will be something Liverpool need to monitor and potentially improve but if he can stay fit, the former Schalke and FC Paris youngster has all the attributes needed to be a success at the heart of Liverpool's defence for years to come. As we have shown in this analysis, Konate is a really talented defender. My name is RDF and I hope you guys have enjoyed this video, especially if you're a Liverpool fan. I hope you guys have subscribed to the channel as well if you aren't already. Make sure you like this video and also you can share it, that helps out the video a lot. I will speak to you guys soon and also please stay safe and see you soon.